everyone, it's Claire Rogers from Itopia Coaching. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So last week I talked about where a negative mindset comes from, and I focused on four areas. And those areas are this. Number one, we focus on the past. Number two, the news impacts our mindset. Number three, how advertising impacts our mindset. And number four was how violent TV shows and reality TV impacts our mindset in a negative way and how by consuming all of these four elements, we develop a negative mindset, which becomes a, a habit because we hardwire the negativity. This week, I want to talk about how we break that habit, how we break that pattern and change our mindset from negativity to that of positivity and empowerment. So first up, I want to talk about how thinking about the past is not helping us create our future. And I want to talk about how our thoughts create our reality. So let me give you an example. Pretend when you were a child or when you were younger, you were told that you were not good enough. You were not smart enough. You didn't get the best grades. You didn't feel good about yourself inside because other people were better than you. And you've thought about that for most of your life, how you're not good enough, smart enough, or as qualified as other people. Now, pretend there is your ideal job coming up at the office. You'd love to have that job. But you get that thought in your mind that you're not good enough. And that thought does not come from present day reality. It comes from the past, from your conditioning of the past. And so when that thought comes up and says that I am not good enough, smart enough or qualified enough to apply for that job, what happens? We create our reality by not applying for the job, by telling ourselves that we can't do it. And so what happens? We then create an emotion which says that we feel bad about ourselves. We feel sad. We feel depressed. We feel dissatisfied with life. And so therefore, we have created our reality by not applying for the job, or if we have applied for the job, we haven't put our best effort forward, or we have almost self-sabotaged our efforts because we've told ourselves in advance that we're unlikely to get it. This is how our thoughts impact our reality. And so we need to break that thought pattern. Let me give you another example. Say you really want a loving, passionate relationship, but you're unsuccessful in that area because perhaps what you're doing is you're comparing your present situation and the ideal person that you want to go out with, with your past, with somebody who may have hurt you or somebody who may have broken your heart. And so therefore, what you're doing is you're bringing your past emotions to your present reality and either one, not meeting the person that you desire because you're not open to the experience, or two, you are comparing and contrasting the person that's in your life today to somebody in your past. This is another example of how our thoughts impact our present day reality. And this is another example of how we need to break our thought pattern. Now that I've given you a couple examples of how our thoughts impact our reality, we need to think about, so how do we break these thought patterns? How do we change our current circumstances? Well, the first thing I'd say is very rarely do we ever give ourselves the gift of time to reflect on how we actually think and how our thoughts are impacting our reality. So my first suggestion is give yourself the gift of time to think about your thoughts. And how I would do this is get a good old, good old fashioned pen and notebook. And I would say every morning and every evening, give yourself the gift of time of half an hour or an hour and write down how you think. But don't judge how you think. If you have negative thoughts, write them down. Don't judge them, but write down those thoughts. And then once you've done that exercise, I want you to ask yourself for each of the thoughts that you wrote down, how is having this thought of the past helping me? How is it helping me in my present day reality? How is it helping me to keep reaffirming and rethinking about this? Say, go one step further. 
Then I would say, ask yourself, what would it feel like if I didn't have this thought anymore? And what would my reality be if I didn't have this thought? So let's go back to the examples I gave and let's use this in practical terms. So the first example was feeling, I don't feel good enough to apply for this job. How is it helping me having this thought? Well, it's not helping me. What it's doing is it's keeping me limited. It's keeping me from playing big. It's keeping me small. It's keeping me feeling dissatisfied. It's keeping me feeling sad inside. So how would I feel if I let that thought go? I would feel empowered. I would feel positive. I would feel invincible. I would feel like I could apply for that job and I could deserve that job. So let's go back to the other example of not having the relationship that you desire because you're focused on the pain of the past. So let's map that out again. So I can't have a successful relationship today because so-and-so in the past hurt me. How is that helping me having that thought and keep thinking about that thought? It's not helping me. But what it's doing is it's keeping me limited. It's keeping me from pursuing a healthy, successful relationship. It's keeping me feeling scared. It's keeping me feeling protective of myself. How would it feel if I didn't have this thought anymore? Well, I would feel empowered. I'd feel good about myself. I'd feel positive. I'd feel like I was worthy and deserving of a healthy, meaningful relationship. So that's an example of how to do that exercise. See what I did there is that I, one, helped you create an awareness of how you think. And two, I helped you understand how you can reframe your thoughts from being that of negative to that of empowerment. So as I say, you need to give yourself the gift of time to understand how you think and then reframe it in your mind to be that of empowerment. Now, that's not going to happen overnight. Your ego is not going to want you to let go of the past or previous thoughts you've had. Why? Because it's formed part of your identity. And who will you be without that identity? It's going to fight you. It's going to say it doesn't want you to change. But I actively encourage you to every day conduct this exercise every morning and every evening and do it for at least two or three months. And the reason why I say that is it takes approximately 66 days to change a habit. So if you can do that every day for 66 days or longer, or ideally make it a lifestyle that you do throughout your life, you will change your mindset from that of negativity to that of positivity. Now, the next thing I want to say is please cut out the news, negative TV shows, violent TV shows, reality TV, and really minimize the exposure you have to advertising because this does impact your mindset. And if you're serious about changing your mindset, then what you need to do is you need to become aware of the negativity that is out there that is impacting you. And you need to say, no, I am not putting that poison in my mind anymore. I deserve better. Now, if you implement the suggestions that I have just made to you, you are going to find that your mindset definitely does change from that of negativity to that of positivity. However, you are going to notice this one thing, and that's this. You may find that you become lonely. You may find that you don't have as much in common with your friends anymore or with other people in society. Why is that? Because a lot of people will not be doing the deep work themselves to change their mindset. They will still be attached to the negative media that they're consuming. And so you may find yourself feeling lonely, that you are trying to change yourself in a positive way, whereas other people are staying the same. What I would say is, if you find yourself in that situation, then take comfort because there's a lot of people that are changing their lives. You just may have to find a new group of friends to hang out with, join some clubs, societies, get into reading, join groups. You will just have to change who you spend your time with. 
Now, I've done another video a couple of months ago. I'll put the link at the end of this video, and that is how to get rid of the negative people in your life or how to minimize the time you spend with them. So you will find that as you become more and more positive, you'll be less and less inclined to want to spend time who are with people who are negative, with what I call energy vampires. And that's going to be difficult to actually change your group of friends overnight. So as I say, I'll put the link to that video at the end of this one so that you can rewatch that one if you haven't already seen it on how you minimize or reduce your exposure to people who are negative. So to recap, to change your mindset from that of negativity to positivity, you're going to give yourself the gift of time to think about how you think. And you're going to put that in a journal and you're going to ask yourself, how is it helping me thinking this way? And how can it, I change my thinking to be that of empowerment? You're also going to get rid of all the negative exposure in your life, whether that be the news, reality TV, advertising, violent TV shows. You are going to reduce, minimize, or get rid of it altogether. And you're also going to make sure that you reduce the amount of time you spend with negative people. And finally, I would say, really give yourself the gift of time to be quiet. What does that mean? Give yourself the gift of time to not be plugged into technology. Take the headphones out, turn technology off, and just breathe and meditate. Meditating is very difficult initially, especially if you've got a really busy mind and it's a negative mind as well. It's Again, your ego is going to tell you, I don't want to do this. I want to go watch TV. I want to do something else, but sit here and be quiet. But with time, it will get easier. And the longer you do it, the easier it will be to quiet your mind and understand how you think and how you can be more positive. As always, I hope this video was helpful. Again, I appreciate that I talk about very comprehensive subjects in my videos and they're very short videos. So if you want further help and coaching on this or any other subject or area in your life, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'd be more than happy to coach you. As always, any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave messages at the bottom of this video. And please check in next week for next week's video. I wish you a great week ahead. Take care.